Hey everyone, as Halloween nears, I thought we'd revisit this idea with new skins now in the game. Let's take a look at the scariest cosmetics and why I think they're scary. Drop your own thoughts too, down below. Trapper Seaside Psycho is an outfit that makes me really want a sea-themed chapter or killer. This outfit makes him look pretty scary. His pale skin, covered in seaweed, barnacles, and mold, with all the different discarded sea objects like a propeller twisted into him. It's one of Trapper's more unique looks but definitely a creepy and monstrous one. Wraith Stray Cat is going to be my choice, I think. Wasn't too big a fan of this skin on release, but I do think it's probably Wraith's scariest. And out of all the cat cosmetics, it looks the most natural as a werewolf or were-cat type character. He has these creepy overgrown feet with claws, larger curled fingers, and a pretty creepy face. They're the main parts that I think are scary. I do think this one is unique and not necessarily wraith fitting, but I do think it looks pretty scary. Billy Vile Scarecrow is definitely the scariest he has. This one I think came out last Halloween and does really do its job of looking scary. The whole thing is said to be made up of skin, which is messed up. Then there's all these horrible meaty bits poking out. I also think the very withered legs adds to the overall look well. Nurse The Accident depicts her look just after she massacred Crotus Pren and the ambulance she was in when it crashed and was taken by the entity. There's something really scary about seeing what she had looked like, with her nurse outfit still on, but some ambulance parts presumably piercing her. Then her arms and legs seem somewhat burned, potentially from the fire that later consumed Crotus Pren. Huntress Cold Wasteland Survivor I find scary for just how deadly it makes Huntress look. I think it's the sharp angles of the skull and the many pelts covering her. It screams apex predator to me, but it just wholly looks very menacing and really fits her well as the Huntress. Maya's default is still the outfit I think makes him look the scariest. There's something so simple but so unsettling about this casual jumpsuit and plain mask. It's iconic, but also pretty scary at a distance. Hag Snake Charmer is my pick for her, and mainly because this is what I I envision peak hag was after her escape from her captors, her life in the swamp after. She still has human features present enough, but not as present as the monstrous features that have taken over. There are the remnants of a snake curling around her body, and the head of a snake biting into her leg too, which are nice small features. Doctor Resident Infestation. This is my pick, but really any doctor skin is worthy of the scariest spot. I find this one both visually scary, but also made even more creepy by its backstory. Basically, Doctor decided to put bug eggs under his skin, leading to this monstrosity. It's really disgusting and disturbing, especially with how the different pustules pulse. Bubba default and his prestige is his best look. I do like the other outfits, but they also look a bit more silly and less scary. His base look and mask, I think, make him look the most brutal and scary looking. It's preference, but I do also like the prestige version of it too. Freddy default is, again, just quite iconic to him. I don't think the blood covering him makes sense really with him being a dream demon, so I preferred the base look, which I think, yeah, has some creepiness for sure, and a bit of a scare factor. Pig Pig Leather is my pick. I think this is the scariest and makes Pig seem quite menacing. The pig mask is kind of shriveled and grey, and is covered by the hair quite a bit. It's a creepy look. The full leather pad with the spinning blade is quite chilling, I think. Clown Exuberant Outfit is one which is just a sharp contrast, which makes it quite scary, I think. I do like the more typically visually scary ones, also like the Pulsanella or the Blighted look, but there's something about him in a chicken costume that is so off-putting. I also like this outfit for how you can see his actual face beneath the costume, no makeup or anything. It's exposing in a way. The backstory of this outfit also hints at some pretty creepy stuff, which adds to the scare factor. Spirit Marine Maiden, I think, is very scary scary. I believe I picked this one last time too. <laughs> Spirit's main scary feature, I think, is her face. This outfit makes emphasis of it with the mouth split further open and just works so well. The rest of the skin isn't that scary, but I really think her face and its 
expressions just work so well for this skin to make it horrifying. Legion Chimeric Horde is still by far the scariest Legion skin, being a mashup of all the Legion characters into a single body, a result of the Blight Serum. It's so creepy how the hands grab and twist around the body, the faces peering out seeming distressed and screaming. It's genuinely really disturbing and a scary thing to view. Plague Cat Prediction is honestly really scary to look at. She's essentially wearing a big skin suit made up of hairless cats, from her headpiece all the way to her dress. The more you look, the more gross stuff you see. I do still think the Dark Devotee is a scary skin with the maggots. I kind of want to mention that still too, but this one is just, ugh. Ghostface slash enthusiast is scary and mainly for the story it has. The weapon first off is said to have its hilt made out of a victim, which is scary in itself. But then the mask flavor text also details it's specifically reflective, so his victim can see themselves in their last moments which is just horrifying. The body part is even kind of scary with it being a liquid repellent fabric, so it's easier for him to get rid of evidence. The whole outfit embodies him so well I think, despite it, from the outside, not seeming scary in the slightest. Demogorgon Twisted Demogorgon is my choice, <laughs> partly because it sharpens Demo's look to be much more intimidating, but also for the backstory of it forming this way due to the fog's interference. The fog itself seemingly merging with its body and creating this armoured look. Oni Demon's End is my choice. This skin is really disturbing when you look into it, and also just pretty terrifying with him looking so torn up. This is how he looked in his final moments just before he died. His nose has been sliced off, he's covered in wounds and pierced by arrows. When he enters Blood Fury he grows horns, symbolising his shift into becoming the Oni, his eyes lighting up red as he does. Deathslinger Frontier Vigilante is still my pick for scariest. It's very simple, but this one encapsulates the grittiness of Slinger. A bit like some other characters, this is what I imagine he looked like at his peak. The outfit also seems to recount the showdown that happened at Dead Dog Saloon when he fought the Mason Kelly gang that resulted in all the bodies there which adds to this skin a lot, I think, and makes him pretty scary. Executioner the Corrupted is what I'm going with again. This skin just feels like an amped up pyramid head, accentuating his features and adding some creepy details like the coiling barbed wire. Blight Organic Monstrosity is my pick, and maybe doesn't seem very scary at first. I think it's good because it accentuates Blight's features well. This skin has his body overtaken with nature and mushrooms. It looks grotesque with how it distorts him further, his face in particular looks even worse for wear, and overall I just think it looks really scary. Twins Flesh and Bones is one of their newer skins and is pretty scary with them covered in bones. It's a really cool blend too of nature and the bones, it fits them well with their years of survival, and definitely makes them look deadly. Trickster Neon Knights is an outfit for Trickster I think is scary because of the background mainly. Surely it's a flashy outfit and doesn't seem visually scary, but the story does a lot for it. The background being that he wore the flashy look and went out at night, as it helped him hide better. The bat specifically he takes through the streets of New York with little care, with bystanders believing it to be a prop, when really it's a weapon. To me this just embodies so well his hiding in plain sight, and one of the main scary things about Trickster which is just the power he has as a star. Nemesis, Nemesis Blight is my pick. I don't think either of the Nemesis looks are very scary, with Nemi mainly getting his scare factor from his size. Although with the Blighted version, I do like the inclusion of things like the eye on the shoulder and some more distorted parts of his body. Cenobite Chatterer is a bit of a cheat, I know. They're different characters. But to be honest, neither of Pinhead's looks are scary, I would say. Chatterer does look scary, I think, so I'm just gonna go with him. Artist Image of the Furies I like mainly for the mouth section, which is, like, torn open to create this really disturbing look. Artist doesn't really have scary outfits necessarily, but this is so striking. I would argue it's the closest to scary, especially with the teeth lining it. Sadako Rotten Remains is my pick. I do think her base look is scary despite its simplicity, but this one is just really something else. It's so disturbing with the withered skeleton, the remaining parts of hair and stuff covering up different areas. This is what's left of her after being in the well so long. It's a horrible image and visually very disturbing. Dredge Twisted Plaything is my pick, although really any outfit is a good choice. Aside this one, 
maybe not this one. <laughs> Plaything is one I like for its different design, and use of the different doll parts. It's unique and visually creepy, the central doll's creepy face and eyes is just straight scary for me too. It's also using doll parts specifically because its organic parts had begun decaying, which is just so disturbing. The skin is also great for its creepy sounds, with it making these clicks and cracks as it moves its hand. Wesker, Blighted Wesker is my pick, and it's mostly down to how it portrays him. The Blight is this powerful substance that transforms almost all the other characters majorly, but for Wesker it barely does anything, and the descriptions suggest it's merged with Ouroboros quite seamlessly, which I think makes him all the scarier and more intimidating. It also suggests he willingly did it to himself, which adds to this. Knight Enchanted Plates is my choice, as much as I like the newer Halloween skin, I think this one is a little scarier. It looks very creepy with his undead look, the glowing armor and sword adding a mystical and ghostly appearance to him. The pale skin and the creepy things coming out of his mouth and stuff all make for a scary look. Skull Merchant Heartstopper is probably the closest thing we have to a scary merchant skin. It's mainly done through the smile and the single red eye. It's a pretty creepy combo, looking menacing. The big blade also works to add to the scare factor. Her clothes, not so much. Singularity Huxley Hybrid I think is the scariest Singularity skin, being a combination of all the Devaka crew, with their different parts and uniforms all twisted into this mechanical and biological mix. It's pretty scary, I think, and shows the cruelness of Hux. Xenomorph Xenomorph Clone is the scariest, I think, being this combination of both human-looking skin, but twisted into the Xenomorph body. It has bones poking out, and just looks very disturbing. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be the Xenomorph that is like Ripley's child or something, from like the fourth, fifth film, something like that. It's really weird. I don't remember too well, but it's weird. Um, the Blight of Xeno is a good contender too, but I think the clone is a little scarier. Just really, really, ah, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to let me know your picks for the scariest skins too, down below. Thanks, and goodbye.